Let's bring in former Giant and two-time Super Bowl champ and, of course, Blue Rush fan favorite Dave Tollefson because this Giants-Eagles game is going to be won or lost in the trenches. Dave, first and foremost, the people have spoke. They wanted you back. Appreciate you joining us live from Nebraska. Let's get right into some trenches talk because uh, can you break down the, the Eagles' trenches, talk their offensive line, defensive line, what have you seen and how are they having so much success? Uh, I mean, it's old school NFC, NFC East, Brandon. I mean, you're going to win and lose up front. Um, you, you're going to have to run the ball late in this in this cold division. The weather's turning. Um, and I think that the Eagles are built for that. Jalen Hurts is such a big part of that run game. You know, and he's really found a way, uh, not just with his protection, but with the weapons he has on the edge. A.J. Brown looks incredible. Um, as a guy that goes up and gets the ball. So we're going to have to put pressure on him. Now, you know this, Brandon. When I play, we got to get to his feet. And I say that not in a sense of bringing him down, but we, we have to have a chance to make him move his feet. And whatever that looks like, getting him out of the pocket, making him run, we have to get him uncomfortable. And, and so that's going to be super important for us. Well, I wanted to like, ask you that because he's not a traditional quarterback. So what's a, a dual threat quarterback such as a Jalen Hurts? What's his or how does that change your pass rush in terms of his drop point or his sack point? Well, it really shouldn't. It really okay. shouldn't. As crazy okay. as that sounds, when we played against Vic, um, Colin Kaepernick, uh, we let them run around a little bit. Now, when they run around, it opens them up to hits. They lose all that protection. Once they get out of the pocket, they become a runner with the ball. So they lose all that protection, which we're okay with. Um, Colin Kaepernick set a record for the most yards rushing in a playoff game years ago when I was playing and, and ended up winning that game. But that rarely happens. We've seen Lamar Jackson struggle. Uh, he's got an injury now. Let him run a little bit. Let him move. Don't get scared. You know what I tell my old junior college coach that I help here out in Iowa who's playing for a national championship this uh, next week. If the quarterback's running around, that means we're chasing them. Okay. okay. Which is a good problem to have. All right. So let's Riverside it. Let's flip it. How do the Giants attack the Eagles defensive line, especially a, a Giants interior offensive line that people would say have struggled within the recent weeks. So how would you attack that Eagles D line? I think you got to be patient. You got to be patient. Obviously, they added our guy, Linville Joseph, who's great in the trenches. Yep, and yep. Dominic Sue, who's played at a high level for a long time in this league. Jordan Davis is back. And then Fletcher Cox. That, that's, a, that's a four deep that will rival anything that we've seen in recent memory in this league. So you got to be patient. Punning's not bad. Get Daniel Jones on the edge. Get them uncomfortable. Listen, this is chess, not checkers, man. This is late season NFC beast football. We can't get too caught up in the big play. Let's move the ball. Let's play complimentary football. Let's not let, let, let's not look for the big play early and just and just chop away. Chop away. It's it, it listen, this game is going to come down to a, a last possession okay. situation. And you got to understand that. And if we can if we can be patient as fans, as as players, as coaches, and get us in a position late, kick a field goal to win, whatever that looks like, we have to we have to understand that's what it's going to take. In the Eagles' only loss this year, the Commanders ran for 152 yards against them. But how does the pass rush attack the offensive line, though? You got to pull it apart. First off, we haven't done great against the run at home recently. And we have to devote some time to that. I was talking to Lawrence before I did this with you. Listen, you have a pie chart. You have 100% of a pie chart. You can only devote so much time to a certain thing. We have to devote time to stopping the run. And when I say stop the run, it doesn't necessarily mean yards, total yards. It could be three yards per carry, but we got to talk them out of it. We have to not get that play action working for Jalen Hurts. So we got to understand what, what they do what the position groups are down in distance, devote time to that and resources, talk them out of it. Listen, offensive coordinators 
they can get talked out of stuff pretty easy. Okay. Okay. And we have to talk them out of it early. Get them into five-step drops. Get them out of the situations that they want to be in. And then we then we can implement our pass rush plan. And that's totally separate than what our 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 running game plan might be. And we and then we can implement it with our big boys up front again, pushing the pocket, getting at his feet. Let the big guys get in his face, get hands up, knock balls down, talk them out of it, right? Yep. So I think about some of the defensive lines that you've played in and some of the players you've played with. The Giants secondary is banged up right now. So I imagine what's the D-line's mindset? What are they saying to Wink going into Sunday with a banged up secondary? Well, I hope they're saying put the pressure on us. We knew that. When we were playing, making those runs, we knew that we had to make plays. And, and we took our, our week of work and, and we took it serious. We knew that if it, with guys being hurt in the back end, that we had to make plays up front. And that it doesn't necessarily mean sacks. I hate, I hate putting a number on sacks. How many sacks we've got to get this week? I hate that. We need to get pressure. A lot of people haven't been able to get pressure on, on Jalen Hurts, making him have to make a play late, make a throw in a tight window. Excuse me, give those guys time on the back end to, to cover, bat some balls down, right? Make him throw off his back foot. Make them uncomfortable. Put the pressure on us. Put it on us. We'll take it. It's it's fine. We'll, we'll do our job to help you out. Because once those guys get healthy and we're making this playoff run, they're going to have to help us at some point. And we have to take onus. Now it's our turn. Dave, listening to you break down the trenches makes me want to be reincarnated as a DN, my man. I appreciate you joining us. And I thank you for taking the time. Yeah, no problem. Take care, Brandon. Go Giants.